What's up, everybody, and hope everybody's having a good time at Reefer Palooza for those who attended. Um, this video is basically how I am lowering the phosphates in my 500 gallon display. Now, before I started this, I had to take an extra pump I had and dial it down so that it could fill up a gallon of water in a minute and 51 seconds. It took about three or four tries until it constantly filled up for about three times in a row and I used that with an extra um, check valve at the end of the hose of the pump. This is me installing it inside my sump and running it back into a dual 10 micron filter sock. Well basically I just put a filter sock within a filter sock so it can collect all the participate pre precipitate precipitate sorry um in the motion of uh as this is uh, operating um the other equipment that i'm using for this is uh, a brs doser on a timer now uh, i started this off at about eight hours a day um, it starts eight in the morning until about four in the afternoon um, as I was setting it up, I didn't pay attention to the doser and I basically had it switched up <clears throat> where I had the out going into the solution I made and vice versa. So that's probably why you see me looking dumbfounded about right now. I had my blonde moment until I actually looked at it and like, oh, I got to switch these up because this is not going to work. Uh, the solution mixture or ratio that I used to mix this up is I use 60 milligrams, I mean 60 milliliters of C-Clear of commercial phosphate remover to one gallon of RODI water. And I have the end of the tip actually coming under where the water is actually exiting out of the pump that I um, have going into the, the dual filter sock. I started off using two four inch 10 micron filter socks. I went and ordered some more and they sent me the 10 inch, I mean the seven inch and about 20 inches 10 micron filter socks. So I got a good deal on them, but somebody messed up at the beginning. So once I got it plugged up in timed in um, I had to go to the garage and get me an extra bucket that I had that I wasn't using so I can have um, the timer to sit on during this operation so um, The one thing about this, it, 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 I like about it, is a real, real slow drip. I never knew how slow the BRS timer actually operated. I saw it spinning inside the uh, timer and everything, but um, it was just, you know, a slow thing. As you can see right here, um, this is what I was discussing earlier about the, how slow the drip is coming out. So it's like it's coming out about like once every one or two seconds. So it really pretty much works uh, just in my favor, especially with my system um, and the amount of water it has. So I'm very happy with it. And this is the product I was using. It's available anywhere. And after my first reading, which was above 200 bees, this is what happens 24 hours later and each day as it goes on until I finally got it to a consistent basis where it was staying at 22 parts per billion or 0 0.07 uh, parts per million phosphates. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'll let you know how things go in a few weeks. Um, also, I got my algae scrubber running and pulling off some nice green uh, algae. So leave a comment below, hit that like if you haven't subscribed. Everybody have a safe weekend and enjoy your 
holiday.